It is said, the Big Bang was the beginning of everything. The reality, however, is quite different. Join us on a short trip through the universe and beyond and learn more about the great mystery of our world. To understand how the universe works, we must imagine the universe as a kind of spatial sphere. However, within this sphere, absolutely nothing exists. Neither space, nor time, nor mass. We have to imagine that the universe itself forms the surface of this universal sphere. However, for us, the universe appears to be infinite. The maximum possible distance in the universe from our position is the opposite point on the surface of this universal sphere. A light wave emitted by a star located opposite to us is subject to a gravitational red shift during its multi-billion year journey through the universe. However, what is a gravitational red shift? A light wave suffers a significant loss of energy due to the gravity of the universe, resulting in a 4,000-fold red shift of the light wave towards the low-energy red range of the electromagnetic spectrum. The emitted light waves of a distant star become long wave. Thus, the absorption lines of the star's spectrum are gravitationally red-shifted. We observe this phenomenon in form of displaced absorption lines. Furthermore, if we observe an event that occurred in the opposite region of the universe, it was subject to a 4,000-fold time dilation. In other words, an event that originally lasted for one second appears to us to take 4,000 seconds. Thus, the duration of the event has been stretched in time more than one hour during its journey through the gravitational potential of the universe. Another effect is the so-called gravitational lensing, resulting from the gravitational potential of the universe. The opposite region of the universe appears magnified by the universe's gravitational potential by a factor of 4,000. Thus, the universe itself works like a highly magnifying super telescope. The NASA satellites COBE and WMAP and ASA's Planck satellite provided us a window onto a tiny region of the universe which is on the opposite side from us. We perceive a picture of this small region of the universe in the form of the so-called cosmic microwave background radiation. This background radiation is nothing more than a view of a limited region of our universe magnified 4,000 times, which we perceive as a 360 degree circular projection of the sky. If we could see this background radiation with the naked eye, then we would experience an unparalleled night sky, allowing us to witness a 4,000-fold magnification of a tiny part of the universe as it looked approximately 22 billion years ago, when stars emitted the light, which, due to gravitational redshift, reaches us today as the cosmic microwave background radiation. Learn more about this topic in the book, Einstein's Universe without Big Bang, and the solution 
of Hawking's Paradox.